What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and you are looking at a Curiosity rover picture. This is one of the fresh ones uh, I've been looking at. I was sitting here looking at on my phone today on the Mars Image Program. If you have an iPhone or a Droid, get the Mars Images Program. Um, one day I'm going to do a video where I've actually sit down and show you how to download it and what to do. I came across this and I'm sure people have already put this up yet because obviously they want us to see this stuff. This is an amazing find. These are, look at this, look at this thing right here. I mean, this is cut out, shaped to the point, back, cut in, out, straight back to the point, and you can't see the other side of it, um, but it almost looks like it could extend down and cut back in and not. But whatever that is right there, looks like it belonged to something. It actually looks like it was probably sitting upright at one time, maybe, um, and it has really ornate carvings in it. Um, just too cool. And this whole little area right here, this is just one picture from the salt. I will not be surprised if the rover dies soon. Now, I'm telling you, that's my prediction. Unless the NASA's coming out now and basically saying, you know, there was an old civilization on Mars. Something was going on up there. Um, either that or, you know, that's just nature doing this. That's nature doing blocks that look like this. Uh, perfect blocks with with the wood hoses coming out of it. Um, just too much in this picture to tell me that this is nature. Look at this right here. Well, this is amazing. Some of these, uh, some of the symmetry and some of this stuff. A lot of these. This looks like Uncle Jake, you know, Uncle Jake's junkyard, just like my buddy Terry says from Cal, oh, not California, from Paris. Um, look at this here. Almost looks like little uh, live animals and stuff like that. And if you checked out my videos, you know that's not out of the realm of possibility. Um, just search on my trees on Mars, water on Mars, your lakes on Mars. You're going to find all sorts of stuff. So I've got this right now in Photoshop. We're going to look at this. We're going to go through this picture pretty good. I haven't done a one where we looked at a picture in a real long time. Let me show you where I get this because that's what I always do. Um, but you don't have to come up here and write this down and stuff like that. I hate videos that do not give you the – oh, I hate it. If they don't give you the link, it's like, why? Why make the video if I can't have the link and go see it for myself? Like, I know you're trying to teach everybody what this stuff is. Give them the link. You're going to have this link. Just go to description, click on it. don't have to do anything else. So it'll take you right to this page, download it, get the full resolution, download it to your computer. You, can, you don't have to pull it up in Photoshop. You can pull it up in anything. I'm just on an Apple right now. I got Photoshop. Um, seems to work good for me. So let's take a look at this again. Um, pretty cool. I wonder if I got my line tool. I haven't done this in a while on any videos. Um, actually tried to draw anything or come off of anything. Let's see here. I was just wondering if I could actually draw some points on this. This is, uh, how big is this going to be? Alright. Let's see what happens. I just want to see how straight that looks from here. Look at that cut. Who knows how long this stuff's been sitting here on Mars. Look at that. Bam! Right up on it, that cut. And is this, uh... Almost flush there, too. Let me cut that out. But, I mean, I don't know. It almost looks like a crane. <laughs> it's crazy. It definitely looks like that does not belong just sitting there on the side of the mountain. And it may be, like I said, it could be... But when I go back and I look at this other stuff too, and I start saying, okay, well, what's the odds of this, this, and that? Like, look at this. This looks like a, uh, I mean, some sort of, it actually looks like somebody with their butt. <laughs> it's got their buttocks sticking up, but that looks like some sort of rounded rock, something like that. Um, it kind of looks a little bit blurred out. Look at these, uh, but they do kind of match. You know, it's kind of their match. And, and what do we have right up here? Check, to check this out here. Um, and this looks like it all, why is it this blurry? Come on, NASA. Two, how many billions of dollars have we spent on this stuff? I know you don't want to, I mean, look, you're putting the pictures out, so why even blur it? You know, why don't we just let us see what's there? Uh, I know the news would never even, we could come up, like I said, the only thing they'll ever put in the news, and mark my word, and unless I'm wrong, they're going to put the stuff that they can easily dismiss, the stuff like the rat on Mars, where they, people say, oh, that's a rock, or, um, the missing rock thing, or they can just say, oh, something fell down. They're not going to put up the smoking gun stuff. That, you know, it's like, well, explain why these right here look like they have, you know, divots in them and rivets or something. And this looks like at one time this has been chopped out. And see how this looks like it's rounded? 
Uh, and off of this base right here comes an amazing thing. It has, look at this, it almost looks like a bow or something like that, or a statue or something that's been tipped over. Let's do something here. Let's back this up a little bit. And let's let's mess with the uh, exposure just a tad. And uh, also the gamma. Let's see if I can't pull this out, give it a little bit of a... See how everything blends in? When you get this color that they, let me do this real fast. They always, it seems like they add this color to it, like that brown to all the pictures of the rover. And all the rovers are different because they all landed in different places, I know, and they all had different cameras. But each one just has slightly, you know, I think they add things to it. When you do the auto color here, it drops everything, almost like it sees that on top of it. Um, but when you do that, see, you know, this is, this is already dark, so it looks like they've darkened this picture up a little bit. Let's see here. The gamma is going to pop it out. What I'm really looking for when I'm doing this, I want to make these actual lines and stuff be noticeable so we can see the lines. We're not going to get as much detail on it, but I'll back this out and uh, here in a second. But we'll at least be able to see, okay, differentiate. Like, differentiate okay, this, is, this here comes down like this, and look, it goes up like that. Whereas where you don't have any of it, it's just harder to see, you know, when you do it, it's there. So let me leave it on there for a minute. See what we got. All right. So this to me looks like symmetry or it looks like symmetry as well. This here definitely looks like a piece of machinery, something. Look at this, how it's, been, it's rounded off and cut. And it's it's been cut all the way down to the other side, up around and coming down. To me, that looks like it. It even looks like, check this stuff coming off of it here. Um, and these aren't image artifacts, too. Uh, you could some people say, oh, that's image artifacts and stuff. This is a strange part of Mars right here. This, Look at this stuff that's all around it. And hopefully you can see if you're looking at my, uh, hopefully if you're looking at it through, like, your cell phone. Because I was looking at mine the other night. Sometimes it's hard to see what I'm saying. So I'm going to try and blow up the stuff a little bit more. But look at this stuff up here. This almost looks carved into it. Let me see if I can brighten it up a little bit now. Leaving, leaving it how I was, just doing the brightness and the contrast. Let's see. It's almost like... Pretty cool. Either way, there's a lot of color up there on the hill. It looks like everything's turning purple and green and stuff like now. That's that's the rover is starting to send that back on a lot of these pictures. I mean, it looks like it's colorful. It looks like it's a uh, look at that. I mean, you can see it. That's also for messing with just the gamma, just a little bit, pulling it up. Um, but we've got all sorts of uh, all sorts of stuff going on here in this picture. I don't even know where to start on this. Okay, we looked at this little piece here. It looked like a machine. All this stuff looks like, it looks like an old cash register. That's what that looks like. One of them old school cash registers. You see somebody like Pawn Stars pawning it off. <laughs> All right, here we go. These rocks, these, this stuff looks out of place. This looks like something that's just been thrashed. There's stuff that some of the stuff probably, you know, was meant to be near each other. Some of this stuff was, you know, fused together once. But look at this here. This also caught my eye. It's very interesting. Now let's take this all the way back to uh, back. Take that off. That was the gamma. Step backward. And all I did was pretty much just uh, edit, do the auto color thing here. And you can see the colors that are just built into it. I mean, it, it's almost like it's a lot of this stuff looks like metal. Um, this is kind of, this is just kind of, this is cool. See, this is matrixing right here. See how this kind of looks like two eyes and a mouth? It wouldn't be, you know, anything. It just kind of looks like it's looking out that way. That's what your eyes can do. Like I always say on here that I see what I see and you see what you see and all that good stuff because I know people, we all see something different. You know what I mean? My eyes see stuff. And when I see stuff like this, this looks like something that's symmetrical. Um, it looks kind of thrashed up a little bit and it looks like it might have came. Look at this, how it's got more parts to it that are perfectly bent over. Um, what type of rock have you ever seen like that that had tubular things that go through it? I, I never have. You know, you guys might have, you know, said, uh, and I'm not a geologist. I'm not claiming to be I'm just a guy who owns a website and the channel. And I, I try and get information out, try and collect as many. Like I say, if you're not, if you're new to my videos, the first one you've seen, I'm, you know, I always talk this much. <laughs> I always show stuff. You know, I always give the link. 
I got a website. You can go back and check all the stuff. I'm, I'm trying to find every single thing that's ever been found before and everything that's, that hasn't been found. I've got thousands of people out there have sent me you know, messages. It's the, you know, I've got, what, 3,000 messages from people that are like, check this picture out, check this one out. I've got so many videos I can do just off the cool anomalies. So anyway, basically I'm rolling through here to do what we usually do. Let me see here. Let me just uh, pause this for a second. All right, there we go. So basically, I had the media comm was calling. I got them coming out tomorrow, up my internet speed some. Um, so this definitely is something cool. Like I said, I'm basically rolling around here because I know my guy, like I said, my subscribers see a lot more than I do. It's amazing. You're like, at this number, at this number, check this out. This looks like this. No, but I see symmetry in everything here, even in these these rocks, you know. Uh, this, to me, definitely looks like it was carved. And even here has what seem to be patterns and stuff in it. Here, very smoothed outside. These just look like machine parts. Like I said, something happened, like a wreck or something. Like this here seems to maybe go along with something like that there. And that old cast register looking thing. There's just, if it was just that rock down there, you know, I'd, it'd be different. You know, when I see stuff that has all this other weird stuff to me, and like I said, I'm not a geologist. I'm not sitting here claiming to be one. But look at this stuff. It's got like, I mean, what, what's going on on Mars? You know, the, what's up? I mean, I've never even seen stuff like this on Earth. Except unless you go like like a junkyard type setting or something. Um, and if this was at the bottom of a, 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 you know, Gale Crater, they're saying now might have had, you know, had rivers. And it was, if there was water in here at one time and everything sloshed around, I'd imagine it would look like this. Buried up to whatever. Half of it sticking out. Half of it not. No. Depending on what, what what rain hit it, you know, over the years, what uh, wind hit it, what sand hit it, you know, the damage that would be done to it. But look at all the circles in this stuff. I mean, look at them. This is cool. Just circles everywhere. And then you got this up here. And I was looking at this too, right, as, as I was sitting there confirming my Mediacom appointment. Um, this is kind of interesting. See how this is kind of buried down into here and it comes up like an antenna type thing, but, and then like you got these shiny things, so, these are, just like I said, this is just too cool, I know, like I said, I know that somebody had to have put this on one of my Facebook Mars things yet, there's probably, one of my buddies, like Chris or Chris, probably have this out yet, uh, like I said, there's so many people I know doing these things, this is not going to go unnoticed by any means, so, Let's see, I didn't really look off in the distance. This is an awesome... Let me, you know, let me go back to the original color here. That's interesting out there in the distance. Look at that. Almost like a big donut shape thing. <laughs> but some of this stuff looks a little blurred out. I mean, where is my... Where is the money? I want... You know, what are we spending the money on? Obviously, they... You know there's better optics. on the, the, the camera specs are on the internet. You can read it much better than this. Now, the rover's been up there for a little while, but, you know, and I didn't address this thing right here. This uh, looks to be some sort of monument or something, or this is, uh, let me do this, and we'll get on that here. Let's see, auto color. What in the world? What is that? It looks like a car or something could possibly be. It looks like a big crab. See, look, here's the big old eyes, and here's the crab. We got Maryland blue crab. Blue, Maryland blue crabs here are amazing. If you never had one. And if you ever come to the United States, for a lot of subscribers aren't from the United States, Maryland, if you ever run through Maryland or you see Maryland blue crabs, um, unless you're in Maryland, I tell you what, they're not good. But this one is just like some sort of weird looking alien. Tell you that. Look at that. Okay, this is just from, well, I see what I see, you see what you see, you know? Two eyeballs, a mouth looking down over. It just looks like some weird carving or something. And then here looks like a weird carving of a face or something like that. And this is just strange and see how like look that's what i'm talking about come on nasa look how blurry it is right here it's it's in focus here and then it gets blurred here so say you guys add these little blur strips everywhere it blurs out all the good details the stuff we're looking for i mean if you're going to leak this stuff out like this at least come on come on put up put up like an ftp site somewhere that we can go get this <laughs> go get the real ones um because you can put out a, a TIFF file, you know, just on one picture, you know, the one on Earth. Oh, look at this, too. I forgot to go over these things. 
um, you know, the TIFF file. There was one on our, oh my goodness, look at this here too. One, two, three. This looks like good. Tell me this isn't just one of the best. I hope you guys stuck with me for this one. This is even cooler. One, two, three, and it looks like a big old fork. Um, like I was saying, let me get that out because I always make points and I go away from them because I keep finding stuff. That's what I do here. <laughs> but uh, as my phone's blowing up. Basically, the TIFF file they put out of, you know, Curiosity supposedly seeing Earth up in the sky. That TIFF file was 19, 19 megabytes and it was crisp. I want to see that out of all these. It, they came from the mass cam. Come on, guys. But check that out. That's cool. But right here, look at this rock right there. Tell me that's not cool. What is going on here, you guys? Tell me what you guys think this is. You know, what is this stuff? Um, more and more and more right angles. More stuff that just looks buried, half buried in the sand. Um, look at that. Look at the colors on this thing. This looks like a, like I said, this is all kind of jarbled up. What, this looks like a statue of a head or something. This, this this stuff right here, look at that. Is, like, does nature do this? Is this something nature does? Or is this something that, that intelligence does? I don't even know what to name this video. Much love, guys. What's up in the sky 37? I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you hit subscribe if you're new. Like I said, there are 300 and something videos to go look at. Moon, Mars. I will be getting to Saturn and stuff soon. I have my father just passed away a couple weeks ago. So I'm just getting back into swinging things. Uh, trying to keep keep moving forward. He enjoyed this stuff. I tell you, I used to come out there and talk to him about everything, you know. He was, he'd was he lead me on this. He'd be like, oh, you know what? There's, they're launching something today. And, you know, check that out. Just look at that. It almost looks like the, there's just monuments built up around this stuff here. See how in the middle of this, it looks like there's nothing you can walk down there. It's almost like these are walls or something that, that's just kind of built in there real small. All right, guys. What's up in the sky, 37? Let me know what you guys think on this one. This one's way out there. Peace.